Yes, how you doing? Thanks, guys. I, I'm good, man. I'm about ready to get my hands dirty, you know, do a little dirty work and live the life of a ranch hand. So we're still out here at Epic Outreach Farms, and there are opportunities for people to come out and volunteer and get their hands dirty. So I'm going to let you do my job since I'm going to do your job. This is Albert Swinstein. If you guys figured out, figured out where could it be? All right, so he's one of the new uh, arrivals from here, and his story is very interesting. But you say he loves the water. He loves the water, so we love to provide enrichment for the animals here, and so giving them a place to wallow in the water is really fun for them and helps to keep them cool in the summer. Well, Richard and Mark were just talking about how hot it's going to be the next couple of days and today. So we're going to give him a little bit of a cool off session. So that's this is where I do the work and then you do my work. And then while I'm doing that, maybe tell people how they can get involved and come out and help you guys out. Absolutely. Perfect. You got the pose there. Yeah, so people can come out and you got it. People, people it might be loud. <laughs> Oh, that mic is good. You're good. Okay. Uh, people can come out and actually help uh, clean the animals, provide them with love and uh, enrichment, which is what this is, uh, for them to keep them happy and healthy all the time. Uh, we also need help with uh, people coming out and helping out when we have visits, too, so they can come take a tour and learn how to tell people about... Go ahead, Albert. Tell people about how these animals come here, how they get rescued, and uh, and keep them safe while people are getting a tour. So the people, that, the volunteers, they actually get an education as well. So how cool is it that you have the opportunity to enlighten people on so many different levels? I mean, people, oh, look at him. I feel you, buddy. Oh, get all of that. Love it, love it. But uh, how cool is it that you give the people the opportunity to become a little bit more enlightened and maybe find that compassionate vibe? Yeah, we love it. People come out here, they don't even realize that pigs, like Albert here, are super personable. They're social. They make great pets. And he's actually up for adoption. He's actually going to go to a new home this weekend. And we get pigs like this all the time that need homes. And people are amazed when they get to meet the animals up and close uh, and personal because most people don't know that pigs make great pets. And also, Every animal has its own story. His is very interesting, but do people get to find out those stories as well? They do. They get to learn about the animals. Each individual animal has a story uh, of rescue, and where they came from uh, helps people to learn uh, that all animals need to be rescued. And, uh, and it's kind of cool because they don't know that. <laughs> so if people want to connect with you online to either find out how they can do tours or how they can be involved as a volunteer, where would they go? They would go uh, either follow us on social media on Facebook, Epic Outreach on Facebook, or go to our website, epicoutreach.org, uh, and uh, they can reach out to us directly, send us an email as well. All of our information is on the website. Uh, you can also send us a message on Facebook as well. All right, well, I am done getting dirty. Now it's time for me to go get clean. I know you put in work all day, so thank you for what you do for these animals and for enlightening the community. So Epic Outreach Farms, come check it out, people. It is in your backyard. Not in your backyard right now. It's Mark.